What the hell is this rainbow ring around the sun? It's to show that you're gay. Fuck <laughs> you. Ah! <laughs> I mean, I'm very gay most of the time. Hmm. Plus, it's pretty. It looks nice. Let the universe be gay and flamboyant and fabulous. It's okay to be gay. Don't fabulous! In the gay way. Close up of Earth. It looks a little misty for some reason. Yeah. Okay. Wait, I think I found what I'm looking for. Yeah, M Martin O'Donnell, who did work for Halo, did music for the Flintstone Vitamin commercials, based on what the Wikipedia says. So yeah. So yeah. Hmm. Galaxy Club. Oh. oh. Oh, I'm sure this is going to go very well. Yep. Oh, oh dear God. Oh, dear Ooh. God. <laughs> oh. What's going on? You, you assholes never saw seven different galaxies fucking tear yeah, each other into nothingness? <laughs> it's almost like they're playing Con... It's, all, yeah. it's almost like they're playing Conkers. <laughs> What sense of any fucking conceivable universe? Can't even finish off a sentence. Uh, let's see. I think Ooh, that was the end of I, I think that was the end of the sentence. It was the end of the sentence. Okay, that actually looks pretty cool. Ooh. That's really neat. It looks like an ending, or like you're, you reached a temple with the magic and stones. Ooh, let's see, uh... What? Why are there, like, what? balls what? in space? Oh, uh, was not expecting that. I'm, I'm seeing, like, uh... Bowling ball, baseball, basketball, soccer ball, which is actually, fo which is actually football in the UK. Well, there goes the Milky Way. There goes a Milky Way. There's the there's there's fucking seven more of them right there, genius. Oh, which shit. you have now devolved into chaos. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Hey, hey, remember when I said you've never seen seven fucking galaxies just devolve and fucking tear themselves into nothing? Here you go. It's fucking deja vu. Called it for it even fucking happened. Psychic. Wait, Earth orbiting the moon? Oh, so what the fuck? Oh my god. What oh, the fuck just, just happened? Something just, something went What the bang. hell just happened? You just witnessed the Big Bang, and this is like a really warped version of our universe. Oh my god. So many, mo like, they're crashing into each other. Oh. This is a literal fireworks show. Cool. Is there? Oh my God! There's actual life on Earth while all this is happening around. They're getting it. front row <laughs> seats of watching all this shit happen. That's you should have been with us on the planet that was getting bombarded by shitty-sized chunks of hail every 37 hours. That's a love. <laughs> That's a love. Kaboom! It's not kaboom. It's fucking shitty-sized chunks of hail. Were you even paying attention? We were careening through Saturn's destructed rings. Okay. What? <laughs> uh, yeah, nope, nope. Solar was right. Look at all that. Oh, God. <laughs> that didn't last long. And let's go ahead and decrease the time. Another crash. And. No. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> well, 
it's been fun while it lasted. Why well, America survived? You sure? We yeah. are living in America. There are still some. Oh my god. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think you just went past it. Dude, Earth is like partially becoming Mustafar. Yeah. Yeah. See, look at that. America seems fine. <laughs> the rest of the world. Yeah, about yeah. that. It's the power of denial. There we just go. Keep okay. not, just keep denying global Richard warming and it'll Richard. go away. It's just America. Yeah, no, America is not getting attacked at all. Now. Meanwhile, most of Europe is. Sorry, Dice. Sorry, Logic. You guys want I'm to move on to America? I'm technically not a part of Europe anymore, so... <laughs> We we don't talk about that. <laughs> you mean yeah. we? Since when were you a part of Britain, <laughs> Gerald? Yeah, no one speaks a oh, Brexit anymore. There goes another one. <laughs> oh well. Silence, European. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all? What's going to happen? Probably. Maybe. Whoa. Perhaps. So. It looks Is... like. Hold on. Can you put light on the Earth? It's very hard to see. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Already a light on the Earth. It's called the sun. I know. I'm asking for the god over here to shine some light on his planet. No, hold the it's fuck on. It's called the sun. Wait, what? <laughs> We're able to look at the planet in the top right corner. No, That's I think. The only... No, 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 no. There's no. Human life is extinct now. Oh no. The good ending. <laughs> oh look, there's a, there's a, there's a crater in one, one of the continents. Jeez, what, what, what do you think happens when a fucking moon sized meteoroid just fucking just slams right into it and then just goes fucking careening off into space? When you fucking hit an object, it, it, it has a fucking equal and opposite reaction. So when you slam a giant fucking rock into a planet, it takes out a big, giant, fucking hunk of rock, and just throws it out into space. And that's what happened. And now our planet has a fucking hole in it. Oh, we gotta patch that hole up? With the what? The rock is gone. What do you, what do you, what do you think this is? Like a fucking, like a fucking, just Mr. Potato Head? Just fucking, just grab some random shit, just fucking <laughs> slap it back in there? You think that's how it works? Like a pore, it can be used as a mud mask. Right. Essentially, yeah. yeah. Plug it back in. Nelson, that's the idea. Let me see. <laughs> huh. Interesting. Hey, you didn't oh. hear me like 20 minutes ago? I said this is going to be the, the, the fucking Rick and Morty episode. And the, nobody fucking believed me. I've been doing this bit for like, for like fucking to half an hour now, and we yeah. still haven't calculated one path to orbit. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's a, it's a mesh between, like, Rick and Morty with Critical. Oh, gosh. This is the greatest disaster of space of all time. I'm going to kill you. Oh, it was a nice body. Oh, it was nice knowing you, Death. Evidence for a ninth planet. Really? <laughs> Oh, that one. I'm coming, Flamingo! <laughs> Has there been any information about a Planet Nine yet? I mean, I am already... Oh, God, it's so dark, I can, I can yeah. barely see shit. Sadly, no. Most people have only said there's speculation about there being a Planet Nine. Uh, planet Nine. I'm getting oh, lost. <laughs> All right, where's Mercury? It takes so long to kill myself because I have so much health. <laughs> well, that's one way to say it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That sounded 
so depressing. It's so sad. Wait, what? <laughs> what the you way just... you said it. Yeah. Oh. I was trying to... I'm playing Metroid Prime. And... <laughs> I thought you were being serious. Oh. Well, that happened. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> ah, shit. What the f <laughs> I think the other planets got swallowed in? Yay! It ate us! They have a snow day? That's pretty cool. <laughs> hmm. Let's give the moon its brother. What? <laughs> I have no brother. <laughs> That's... Oh shit. Concerning. Oh shit. Ooh. Told you, it's not just a fucking Mr. Potato Head. You can't just find something that looks vaguely the fucking same hole and just, just shove it in there. You know, just because the just just cause the fucking the fucking <laughs> the fucking again. octagon fits in the in the in the, in the in the fucking in the fucking in the fucking decagon hole doesn't mean that's where it goes, okay? Just 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 cause you can oh fit God. the fucking the fucking the, the you know the, the the fucking the fucking rhombus into the square slot, even though there's supposed to be a distinct difference between the two it, 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 this is this is fucking this is this is this is different this is fucking planetary mathematics you're, you're trying to toss two objects that have very distinct masses and ther therefore very distinct effect on gravitational pulls that are being done upon them and you expect them to just sync up in orbit that's not what's gonna happen what's gonna happen is the one that has even the slightest advantage of mass is just gonna cannibalize the other one just cannibalize it really just tear down tear it down to its base atoms until it, it, it's just completely been absorbed and, and then we'll just go back to having one moon but it'll have like twice as much mass now because you, you just oh. try to throw a second one in there i could, I could already taste the highlight potential from this <laughs> uh oh shit the plant's frozen yeah i, well, yeah, I, I, I turned it around <laughs> it's an ice age you it's like, it's game. I did one little moon to it, and now they threw off the entire fucking tides, and now the the fucking coastlines froze it over. This is real, real, real bang up job you did to this uh, th this solar system. Great job, real work, real great work. Everybody, go home. It's like from the, from what <laughs> little I've one. learned, from Wait. what little I've learned from game theory, even the slightest difference in distance between the moon and the Earth can cause catastrophic climate changes. The more you know, the more you know. Knowing's half the battle. G.I. Joe. Pluto is. Well, like, now I'm going to go bury myself. <laughs> oh, God, there's something a little misty going on there. Uh. I There's feel still like I'm life what? on it. It's fucking not a human at this point. Yeah, well, uh, I'll, I'll give him something. We're uh, we're uh, persistent little bastards. We're hybrid with aliens now. That's how we can survive. If we dig far enough underground, we don't even need the sun. That's what you we'll think. become reptilians. Hmm. We'll become masters. We'll become those tunnelers from New Vegas. On the span of three years. Uh, 
How do I go up? <laughs> Wee! Oh, something, something hit it. The moon. The moon uh, hit it. Yeah. yeah, I think that's what's left of the moon. <laughs> and now it's fiction to be what's left of Pluto. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Holy the, shit. The Earth just went through Pluto. What? Well, no. Pluto just became the Earth. Just tore it open, stretched it, and now it's wearing it like Holy a big shit. skin suit. Now it really looks like a human eye. Holy hell. And now it's, I'm freaked out. Oh by my it, god. <laughs> This is what happens when you try to screw around with fucking, fucking, fucking planetary <laughs> mathematics here. You try to fucking add one moon, then next thing you know, you've annihilated an entire planet. All this sentient life, all those those people that were fighting for their survival and whatnot, just 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 crashed right into them, just wiped them out of existence. They're gone now. It'll be okay. That seems as good a time as any to do because I am tired. <laughs> I'll see you later, guys. Alright then. See you later. Logic. This is what happens when you try to play God. Fucking. Uh... Are you having fun playing God so far? Uh. I made another looking ball. Okay, shake <laughs> see if you can answer. Hold on, it's one of those magic eight balls. Oh. It's a lot of pressure. Will Andy pick me? I was just about to quote that. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't count on it! Aww. Yeah. <laughs> there was the eight ball in the crevice between the wall and the dresser. I believe that was one of the only toys in the film that was not properly sentient. Nope. Like, if you think about it, actually, now that I'm actually thinking about it, the, the, the walkie-talkie that they used, that wasn't sentient, and it was technically a toy that used batteries. It's for whatever plot convenience there is to write the story. Yeah, that's basically how it rolls. There's a, there's a line in Kingdom Hearts 3 when it comes to the Toy Story world that still perplexes me. What? And that is? Uh, Sora asks, like, uh, Woody why some toys aren't alive, and he just, like... He's just like, uh, I guess they haven't figured it out yet. And I'm like, wait, what? What? That, that what? raises so many questions of the Toy Story world. They're going to come out with a Toy Story 5, did you hear? Yeah. Yes, I do not want to be reminded of that. I'm Are not you... happy with what? that. What? 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 What could he? What could he even possibly make a story about? They, Woody left. Woody left the gang. He was abandoned. Oh, Bonnie just straight up forgot him. Can only imagine what Annie's gonna say. Where's my fucking Woody doll, Bonnie? What is he gonna be like married with like his husband? And he comes back and the kid is like, "Yo, I want my toys back, bitch." <laughs> <laughs> back to the that he met in college. You know what? I remember seeing this one fan art of grown up Andy like holding Bonnie in his hands, like, "Where's my Woody?" It's like the most, it was the most dramatic picture I've ever seen. Yeah, I don't think I want to take a look at that. But on a different note, because we've been streaming for a while, I'm gonna go out on a limb and just um. Yeah, let's I, just, do this. I just want to clarify the the final art wasn't graphic. No, it's it was, not that it was graphic. It was just it was it's just an uncomfortable scenario. Yeah, yeah. I can't. Right. Yeah. So here we are, directly in the center of the sun. You're gonna blow it up, aren't you? Oh my god! <laughs> oh boy! Get ready, well, for the, get ready for the big bang too. Here it comes! Electric. Oh! Well, that's the end. Yeah, this is heard, the end. You heard of the big bang that created the world? Now this is the big bang that ended the world. This, yep. is the this is the fucking big bang. This is, this is, this is a small time change. This is a fucking one dinky sun with ten other dinky suns shoved inside of it. You're, you're telling me that seriously? The fucking on par with the blast that created the entirety of the universe, which is yeah. uh, uh, only infinitely times fucking fractally yeah. bigger than this little piss ant of a planet that we're currently living on. Yes. 
That's not how it works, you idiot. Yes. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. You just come to find out a voice just being like, It's okay. It's all a simulation. It was Thank never you. real.